Hi guys, today I'll show you how to make sardine curry from canned sardines. Where I live, I can't always get fresh sardines, so canned sardines are a great substitute. This curry is so quick and easy to make, just a few ingredients, you can put it together in under 20 minutes. I like to use coconut oil for this recipe. You can substitute vegetable oil if you don't have coconut oil. Minced garlic, minced ginger, and green chilies. I've just slipped them in half. Finely chopped red onion. For the spices, I have ground coriander, ground turmeric, and red chili powder. I'm also using some fenugreek seeds, which are traditionally used in fish curry. Fresh curry leaves are great in fish curry. If you can find them, put them in the curry. Otherwise, it's okay, you can leave them out. Here's the can of sardines. These are whole sardines with the head off. There are bones in the middle, and you want to eat the bones. They're very small. They have a lot of calcium, so you definitely want to eat the bones. These are in tomato sauce. This can is 15 ounces or 425 grams. It is a large can. I love sardine curry, so I buy the large cans. Take the sardines out of the can and put them in a bowl. You want to leave as much of the sauce as you can in the can. Heat up a pot. Put the coconut oil in. It's winter, so that's why the coconut oil is solid. A couple of tablespoons, enough to saute the onions, ginger, and garlic. When the oil is hot, add the onion. Saute that just for a minute. Then add the ginger, garlic, and green chilies pinch of salt, saute everything until golden brown. Add a little bit more oil if you need to. Because everything is chopped so finely, it should only take about five minutes for the onions, garlic, and ginger to be golden brown. Now we can add the spices. Turn the heat down and saute for about 20 seconds. You want the raw flavor of the spices to cook out. Pour the tomato sauce into the pot. And bring this up to a boil. You want to cook out the raw flavor of the tomato sauce. Cook this for about 2-3 minutes until the sauce gets thick and reduces a little. Taste and make sure it doesn't taste like raw tomato sauce. Now you can see that the tomato sauce is reduced. Add a little bit of water. A little bit more salt. Fish curry needs salt and it does need to be a little bit spicy, especially when you're using canned fish. You can always add more green chilies or more chili powder according to how hot you want it. Let this come up to a boil, then we can add the fish. Okay, once it comes up to a boil, turn the heat down. Add the fish whole, and I just like to separate it. Otherwise, there won't be any flavor inside. So the inside of the fish is in the liquid. Be gentle with them, you don't want them to completely break apart. Nudge them all into the sauce. Turn the heat back to medium. Add the curry leaves if you're using them. Once it starts to boil, cover the pot and turn the heat down to low. Simmer for eight minutes. After four minutes, just gently swirl the pan. You don't want to stir the fish and break it up. Eight minutes are up. Turn the heat off. It smells amazing. I like to tear up some more fresh curry leaves, put it on top. And cover it. You can eat the curry right away, but what I like to do is set it aside for at least 30 minutes. The longer it sits, the better it tastes. While the fish is sitting, I like to make rice. If you can't wait, of course, you can cook the rice while you're cooking the fish and it'll be done at the same time.
You can see the fish stays in one piece because we cooked it on a very low heat. If you put it on high heat and boil it, they'll break apart. These little bones are not hard at all. They're pretty soft and you definitely want to eat them to get all that calcium. The fish is very flavorful and the gravy is salty and spicy. Just how fish curry is supposed to be. You saw how simple this was to make and I do hope you give this a try. If you want to get a notification of when I upload a new video, click on the bell icon and select all. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.